This is the full drive 24 seven camera car. It's a 2013 model GU Patrol. And uh, we built this up about 18 months ago on the channel. But our biggest question mark about the build and probably your biggest question mark too, was the ZD30 under the bonnet. We've had a few dramas with our camera car one, mainly just factory Nissan things. So this factory Nissan airbox, we had it leak a heap of water and a few creek crossings in uh, Cape York. The factory turbos are quite little when prone to uh, leaking oil. Oil's leaked into the intercooler piping, popped the pipes off and damaged the factory intercooler. Along with that, the camera boys had been complaining about high EGTs as well as cases of sudden power loss. After this incident desert trip, the turbo failed and it blew all the piping off, causing a breakdown. Plus the odometer was over 200,000 kilometers, so there's probably gonna be some parts that are gonna need some maintenance. But today we've got a good mate, Taylor. He's actually a ZD30 expert and he's popped over today to help us problem solve all these problems and maybe fix a few things. G'day mate. How you going? What's the plan for today? Rip this thing right apart? Yeah, we'll strip it all down and we'll lay everything out and we'll, we'll see what's gone astray. Yep, sounds good. Let's get into it. Well, we're just about to rip the intercooler off. We've already upgraded this thing, but the camera boys are still complaining about high EGTs. Yeah, so as you can see, we've upgraded it. It's got welded tanks, thicker core for where we take these things and the abuse that they're going to cop out, out in the bush. We're going to go with the front mount intercooler to get a lot more of that fresh cold air to keep a little ZD from running those high EGTs. All right, so we found that the injectors were part of the problem that they were facing with a loss of power. So to replace them, you've got to open the motor up, get this rocket cover off. But we've actually discovered that these seals were actually leaking and have been sort of dodged up in the past. So to replace those seals, you've actually got to replace the entire rocket cover, which can get pri quite pricey. So it's something you want to account for if you're doing this job yourself. So we're pulling the injectors out today. Being that the vehicle's got over 200,000 Ks and being a common rail diesel, you can clearly see that they're all carboned up on the bottom. The O-rings are buggered, the washers are all squashed and they're just not performing like they are. Low performance, high EGTs, a lot of soot. So it's just time for them to be replaced with a nice new version. So what we have here is the hand primer pump, where on your old school patrols, you'd see it attached to the fuel filter with the hand pump on top of it. On the ZDs, they're external, and they're actually, a, they're actually a plastic. A lot of people don't like them, and a lot of people find themselves replacing them when they break with rubber ones like you'd see on a little outboard. They're actually no good, the outboard ones, because the, the rubber's too soft, and when you're actually using them quite hard, the, the plastic will suck shut and starve the vehicle for fuel. So you're best sticking with the genuine option. Things to look out for is hairline cracks in the bulb, which can suck air and cause the vehicle not to start. This one's got a few coming through now, so we're gonna replace it with a genuine item. Now it's time to take the air box off. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in there. We were thinking this might've been the case, as during the K-trip last year, some of the clips broke in a river crossing and clearly it's let much more dirt and dust in since then. This seems to be a pretty common problem with the factory air box, so we're gonna to need to figure out a solution. So we've got the turbo off the ZD30 here. This is just the genuine factory unit still. We're having a few problems with low performance. It was pushing oil past the seals. The variable vane, the actuator was jammed in the big position. So it wasn't, wasn't doing too well when it was out on its last trip. So we've got a new one on the bench over there we're gonna throw on. All right, so we've got the uh, expansion tank off the ZD30 here. Um, we're going to be replacing this one with another genuine item. Uh, this one's not exactly broken yet, but there is a few telltale signs where the, the plastic's starting to get a bit old and a bit faded and a bit brittle. So we're doing a bit of preventative maintenance on it so then we don't get stranded out in the bush. So we've got the thermostat out of the GU. Um, the biggest thing we'll notice here is we're actually putting a thermostat in out of a petrol, the TB48 Patrol. Big difference is it actually opens about seven degrees earlier than the factory one, which will definitely help in keeping this engine lasting longer and keeping those engine temps down when they're on those big trips. We've been hard at work this morning stripping down the camera car and we've got a lot of old bits here and a lot of new stuff here. So what we have here is some genuine Bosch style injectors. Exactly the same item that's come out of the car but hasn't done all the work. What we should expect from these is a lot better fuel economy, a lot more performance. The old stuff was getting a bit sad, a bit long in the tooth and it, it just wasn't quite cutting it anymore. So we've gone with the Bosch fuel rail, genuine hand primers and Bosch injectors. And we're also now running a G-Turbo G260 gold wheel. Along with all that, we're also doing a genuine Nissan expansion tank. Very common problem on the ZD30 is they, they just shear off. The plastic gets old, it gets heat cycled too many times. They lose, they lose the tabs here, top and bottom. And you can see where it's faded. 
just just from general wear and tear so we've got a genuine item the best option is to stick with the genuine item we're also doing rocker covers because we're replacing the injectors the seals here as you can see have, have definitely they've had their day and the only way to replace them is to replace the entire rocker cover so we've got one of them from our local nissan dealer so it's true what they say sometimes size does matter and here we have is a pdi front mount that kit that we're putting onto the car today obviously as you can see it's double the size twice as thick all the piping two and a half inch all the way through keep the egt's nice and cold and when we do fit the g turbo and get it all tuned should see some nice gains out of this one the little old zd30 out of the camera car it's quite spoiled with all this new shiny stuff hanging around in my shed so me and Taylor are going to waste no time. We're going to get over there and start bolting all this new stuff on. And I'll tell you what, that ZD camera car will be singing in no time. So we're just finishing up installing the injectors here on the ZD. We're just running with standard injectors. We haven't gone for a bigger plus 30 like people do. We're not after the big power, after pure reliability. So with these injectors, we should receive a bit better fuel economy. A lot less smoke out the back than what the old ones were, especially when it's got that 200,000 sort of Ks on it. It's due for these. I've just pulled the wheel off the camera car and I've actually got a three inch hole saw here. I'm about to drill a hole through the radiator support here. It's all in the instructions, they're super easy to follow and we're super lucky there's actually a little pilot hole there to uh, make sure it's in the right spot. So I'm going to punch the hole through, a bit of pinch weld and the new pipe will go through here then straight up to the turbo in there. This kit is super easy to fit. All right, so the initial problem with the ZD was the factory turbo had actually failed. The variable vein inside was jammed wide open with a very, very low performance. So we've gone with the G-Turbo G260 as a bit of an upgrade. Matching this with the PDI intercooler will result in some really nice gains and let the camera guys slug all this weight around a hell of a lot easier. I've drilled all the holes with the intercooler pipes. I've got the bottom mounts on. It's ready to put the intercooler core in. And the thing I really like about this PDI cooler is the core is here and it's got offset tanks so it actually sits really flush and there's plenty of room for lights and spotties and everything in the front. So I'm going to drop it in there, sit it on the bottom mounts. That's an impressive fit. It's not fully mounted yet but holy, look how good that is. The core's back super close, these tanks are offset. Piping's going to be nice and easy. Now all that's left to do is a stainless steel piping for the PDI intercooler and the G-Turbo is going to run smoothly. That was a massive day in the shed, giving the old camera car a fair bit of love. And we didn't just do power upgrades, we did a heap of preventative maintenance too to make sure this thing will be reliable for many years to come on the tough trips that we do. But I'll tell you what, if I was doing this by myself, I'd be still pulling it apart. Massive thanks to my mate Taylor from Auto House. I'll tell you what, this bloke is a ZD guru. We don't just do the ZD30, we do all the patrol platform, we do Land Cruisers and most other four-wheel drives. We also offer a mobile service, whether you have a crack at your car on the weekend and you just can't quite get it running. We offer that from Gympie to the Gold Coast. So if you want something like this done to your rig, find us at Facebook or at autohouseaustralia.com.au. Next up, we're going to take this ZD30 to get a bit of a tune. We're down at Ultimate Diesel. The boys have done a solid favour squeezing us in. We've put all the new stuff on the camera car and Mike has worked his magic. He's going to run us through what he's done. So we've got the vehicle. It had to have the injectors all recoded, so it was ready to rock and roll. It's got the new G Turbo on it. So we've gone through and then done the, the custom dyno tune to suit the vehicle. With the ZD30, it's obviously going to make it more reliable, having the new injectors in it, tuning it to its optimum range, make it more efficient and better drivability. Well, you spent a fair bit of the time on the dyno, Michael. I heard you got some good numbers out of it. Yeah, mate, Jesse, we've got some decent numbers out of it. So we started off with uh, 57 kilowatts at the rear tyres and 199 newton metres of torque. We've brought you up to 112 and 408 newton metres of torque. Massive gains, far out. Good the camera gains. boy's going to be on the back wheels, <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, take no responsibility for any <laughs> speed and fines on this one. Yeah, definitely. Far out, that's crazy. Keep in mind that we're building this full drive for reliability. We could have put in bigger injectors, a bigger turbo, and asked the tuner to really wring the neck out of the engine. But everything we've done to the ZD30 is about getting reliability and power for many years to come. With the camera car now tuned, there's only one mod left to install. The new 4-inch snorkel intake pipe and airbox. As you saw, the last airbox had let a bit of dust in, which is playing havoc on the engine. Thankfully, the boys at Apex 4x4 Customs have hooked us up. The snorkel and airbox are all super high quality, being made of stainless steel and aluminium and fully TIG welded. And it's all fab right here in Australia. These upgrades will mean there's no chance of any dirt or dust making its way into the ZD30. Now all that's left to do is install it. The 
The Kamikara is done and the ZD30 is more reliable than ever. It's back out on the tracks now, so let me hand you over to the jock and he's going to let us know how it's going out in the field. Thanks, Jesse. Well, we have the new and improved camera car back out in the bush and safe to say she is running like a dream. That's all thanks to, of course, that big PDI frontman intercooler combined with the new G-Turbo is ensuring that the big Z ZD30 gets on boost and EGTs stay down, which is really important for these engines. Of course, Taylor went through and did a whole bunch of essential preventative maintenance mods that you need to do to these engines. And then Ultimate Diesel came through and made sure everything was optimized and working together so that we could get it back out in the bush. And of course, we tied it all together with this beautiful snorkel airbox and the intake pipe from Apex 4x4 Customs. After the state of the airbox in the Cape last year, it wasn't sealing properly, it was letting mud and dust in, which is not what you want. This one stops all of that and it sounds beautiful through that snorkel. And lastly, if you saw the episode where we fed the clutch in the high country, that has all been fixed now with the new heavy duty clutch. And while we were at it, we even threw a set of reduction gears in the transfer case. She's not gonna be a rock crawler, but it's just nice to give the boys a bit more control when we had to put the camera car through its paces. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.